Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to today's video. Now in today's video, we're gonna be creating some really simple, clean and bold logo marks and icons using Adobe Illustrator. We can also use the same technique to create some really interesting patterns or graphics to use within your design work. So if you wanna do me a solid, like the video, drop it a comment, and if you're not already, of course, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all the design content that I drop. So before we start creating, I just wanna do a big shout out to today's sponsor, which is Skill. Skillshare. So for those of you who haven't heard about Skillshare before, it's an online learning community with thousands of great classes. So it's perfect for if you want to learn a new skill or dive deeper into your craft. So I've recently been watching a class by Valentine Dardell on how you can create a liquid text animation and posters in After Effects. I find it super interesting and you can save it and watch it offline. So if you're on the tube, commute to work, you can have a little watch and uh, learn something new on your commute. The platform is created specifically for learning and they're constantly adding new and exciting classes. So the first 1000 people to go and use the link down below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare. So you might as well go check it out, go and have a look at a couple of classes um, and I'm sure you'll love it. I do, it's super helpful and um, yeah, let's get back into today's video. So a quick introduction to this tool. Today, we're going to be playing with the radial tool, which is very simple to use and cuts out all of the work when it comes to creating mirrored and repeated graphics. So initially, just to experiment, you're gonna to wanna to start off with a shape. And today, we're gonna to use a circle. Don't worry too much about the size or the color or the weight, as we can change this at any point. What we want to do now is select our element and go to object, repeat, and radial. So what this has done is it's taken your graphic and it has looped it around a center point and given you a few little buttons here that you can use to play around with it. You can use this slider here to add or remove from your already created loop. Say you wanted to create an archway or an incomplete circle, or you can use this slider here to increase or decrease the amount your asset is looped around that center point. So you can see how this works with the simple shapes and the different reflected graphics that you can create with these. With the circle, I like to play around with the weight a little bit and create some nice floral graphics. These would be perfect for a logo mark for a luxury brand um, or a restaurant or something like that. Also playing around with a diagonal or a triangle version of this, you can create these nice sunburst designs, which are really nice as well. So you can really play around with these shapes, start manipulating the points to achieve more interesting outcomes. You can also start to draw your own shapes and explore how this works with those, again, upping and lowering the amount of repeats to achieve the level of complexity that you want. So once you click into your repeated graphic, you can add further shapes if you want to, and they will also mirror around that center point. Anything you add will reflect like the starting shape that you used, adding more and more sort of uh, objects and assets into your repeated pattern. This allows you to start creating some more intricate graphics. Obviously, when creating a logo mark or an icon, simplicity is key. So you also want to ensure that your logo is legible at small sizes. So I wouldn't recommend adding too much additional detail if that's what you're gonna be using it for. However, that does lead me on to how this effect can be used within the realm of more abstract graphics within your work. This tool allows you to repeat anything. So as an example, you could take an existing element or graphic and use that to create something new. I'm just gonna take this smiley face design and loop it and manipulate it slightly to create this repeated face graphic, which would look sick on the back of a t-shirt. Maybe something to think about for your t-shirt designs, getting your logo in there and repeating it as a nice print. This could also make an interesting poster design or something or a bit of cover art, that sort of thing. As I mentioned, you can add and keep adding. You can even just alt drag your work to duplicate it. And you can see how it keeps growing and growing. This is a really easy way to create some abstract repeat patterns for your work. You can build outwards and outwards, and then you can use that graphic within your designs further. This technique would be perfect if you need to make a pattern for your brand and you want to include some of their brand elements, maybe their colors, etc., for the cover of a document or a heading or something like that. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I would be very keen to see what you guys make of this tool and how you guys use it and implement it into your own design process. So if you do create anything from this and post it on social media, Instagram, that sort of thing, then make sure you tag me in it and uh, I'll share anything onto my story make sure you like comment and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video so yeah thank you very much and i'll uh, see you in a bit